Hey everybody, welcome back to Mars Horizon, and I gotta share something with you. I did not notice this before, because I was just so, like, sucked in, right? It's like so excited about our accomplishments, I didn't notice something before. Check this out. Crude moon landing. Look who's preparing the moon landing. What? Soviet Union? What? Yeah, did anyone else notice this? Uh, past events came up, and like all these things that just popped up for our past events, right? If you scroll down, look. Right here. NASA completed crude moon landing, first place. Soviet Union failed their crude moon landing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. suck it, Soviets. You're cutting corners, man. This is what you get. You're cutting corners. So the crude moon landing, right? We're, uh, Obviously, now we're winning by more than a year and a half. We're good. We're good. In fact, China almost... That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? China almost beat you. Oh, that sucks. That's good for you, though. Good for me, though. I mean... Uh, okay, so um, we have the subsurface penetrator mission coming up in a month. And today, we're about to launch our uh, commercial. Commercial satellite today. Which is another 4.2... Uh, million dollars we're about to be stinking rich all right is what i'm saying we're about to be absolutely filthy rich and uh it's a good time to maybe look into buildings because these things cost a lot of money up front we could look into some buildings in a minute um but i still want to i still want to proceed right forward and everything make sure we're we're constantly focused on missions at hand and um i also noticed something else i noticed this too finish first in two milestone missions and we get a negative 50% buildings research cost um, for six months. So this goes along with the buildings, right? So what I'm thinking is we do the commercial satellite. Then we start space station. Um, right after. Right after we get Voy I think right after we get Voyager. Although we're not getting as much science now. But I really want to go do the Saturn flyby. And then I think, um, where's the round trip thing? I think you just need Voyager and Jupiter. But then you also need Neptune, Uranus, and... Oh, there it is, right there. The Grand Tour. And then we can do... Oh, just, oh God. Saturn orbit, I want that too. So we're going to work on that stuff too. Um, but the other milestone is the station. So once Voyager is done, just because I'm stubborn, I think we'll start then on the station and we'll head down this path so that uh, we can start working on those milestones. And then once we achieve these missions, hopefully at that point, we're at the in the position with science at that point to really start nailing some of these buildings. We can get... Um, Ooh. Ooh, wait. Oh, look at this. I didn't notice this. The Robotics Research Lab. Negative 20% costs on missions research tree. If we get this and this. Oh, we can do some seriously good stuff on that. Vehicles research tree too. Ah, there's so much, there's so much cool, cool stuff in here. Um... So yeah, I, I have a, like a lot to look through on these uh, these 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 research trees, right? We got we got down pretty far here. We haven't started the shuttle yet, although I will need to to start doing the the space stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna want to do that. We're gonna want to get the space stuff, the space station. So we're gonna want to get space station, and we're gonna want to get space shuttle. Both of those things are things we need to work towards. But in the meantime, we're gonna be making a killing. So. Let's look at missions that might be really beneficial for us. And this one has onboard cameras. Vehicle upgrade. Installing onboard vehicle camera will result in favorable media coverage acting to negate any potential support loss for failures. No support penalty for failing missions. With cameras. I don't know how I feel about this. Because, like, okay, so let, let me, is there another one that has, yeah, publicized. So, I don't like this, actually. 
Um, because this is this seems like an upgraded item that would only be useful to you if you fail. It gives you no positives, and that that doesn't that's actually not consistent because publicized is media coverage, right? Hear me out here. Publicize is media coverage. So when you succeed and the media is paying attention, positive coverage, more support. If you fail and the media is watching, more decrease in support, right? Like it's, it takes a bigger hit. But this one costs you money. Media coverage, if you succeed, it does nothing. And if you fail, uh, okay, then it, at least it doesn't do anything. Which is, is fine if you fail, but um, we don't fail. <laughs> no, uh, it's I just don't like items where it only becomes useful if you fail. Uh, I don't I don't think I like that. Um, I'd rather an item. I'd rather we have an item that helps me succeed, basically. So, in any case, we need we have a mission slot. I need to look for something to do here. So why don't we why don't we try the control systems check actually? Mission grant support and a whole bunch of science. Um, or I mean, we could hit we could hit the other milestone too. We haven't actually done Venus impactor or Venus orbit, and they are worth a lot of science. So I mean, maybe we should do these. Let's let's plan the Venus impactor actually. Four hundred and two takes three months to build. I mean, that seems it seems all right. We'll just hit, we'll just hit this. Let's just do that. All right, it's time. Ladies and gentlemen, for it's this way. <laughs> it's time for our commercial satellite launch. So uh, let's get it on. Let's do it. Now we're gonna get first place for this. We're gonna beat ESA by a month, assuming that they are, you know, assuming that they're successful. If they're not, if they're as careless as the Russians, then whatever. <laughs> we have good conditions that puts the failure chance down to just two percent. Negative event chance down to seven. Less than 10% chance that something goes wrong. I love those odds. Let's go. Five, and I think it's hilarious three, that we're setting up this up in a Saturn two, V. One. The satellite is being launched in a Saturn V. I think it's great. We have I think it's great. Not just a Saturn V. Oh my gosh, it's going so slow. It's got me nervous. Not just a Saturn V, but a $90,000 Saturn V. <laughs> it's so crazy. There we go. 50% on the, on the secure launch. And uh, now these things are leveled up. And uh, now they're level two, which is great. But we can't be, we're not going to be able to get at those level zero part things again. <laughs> that was awesome. All right. Achieve Earth orbit. All we need are 10 nav modules. We're, of course, going to aim for 20. We only get three turns. It's not, it's not as given as you might think. Um, we're going to hit this one. And then we're going to hit this one. And I think we're going to hit it again. We're just going to hit power really hard this turn. And then get a little recharge. Or we have decent reliability, right? Maybe we just go real ham on this. Ooh, you know what? I actually kind of like this one. Because then we can use these later on. Yeah, I kind of like this one. Let's use this one. I mean, I do have good reliability, okay? It's, I want, it's, I'm not lying here. Uh, but here's the problem. Oh, okay. If I use power, then I get to do this one. Right, okay. That takes all my power now. All my power is gone. Okay. Okay, game. I do have decent reliability, but this game loves to just, it just, you're permanently pinned to the left side of that bar, like all the time. There we go. All right. So that was a decent round. I didn't, I didn't really want to, you know, spend any more power, but it was a decent round. I'm going to have to recharge at least once. And then we're going to hit this one. Uh, I think I'll recharge again, actually. And then we'll hit that one. Let's go. We're spending power to make these nav units. And we only have three turns, which is actually 
This might be a problem. I may not actually be able to get the bonus. So the last turn, right? We can hit this one twice. That gets us to 18. Then we hit this one, which gets us to 22. But if we don't have to spend the power, we shouldn't. But we kind of do. We kind of do. So here's what we'll do. We'll hit this and then we'll recharge. So we can at least resist one time. Go. At least once. This might be the one we have to do. All right. So this is going to result in costing an additional comms unit. We actually have one to spare, so that doesn't harm me. All right. I accept this. I accept my fate. And then this is the last one, and we can resist it if we need to, but we don't. So commercial satellite is up. Now we need to deploy the satellite systems. We have uh, four of each, plus we have to deal with drift. So let's do that. Of course, we're actually going to want to try to get eight of each if we can. The drift has to be with between negative one and one. We get three turns, four commands per turn. I think we'll employ a little power to get that. And then I think we'll employ a little power to do that. And then I think we'll hit these navigation units. Plus we're going to cause a little bit of drift to do that. And then we're going to use Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, um, I think we just spent power. Power is like an enigma in this game. I never have enough cuz I use always use it so much. It's very expensive my my way of doing things. It's very expensive. And yet somehow I almost always get the bonus objective. Somehow we almost always pull it out. Who would have thought? All right. Six more and two more. Two, only two power left. And we have two turns. We also have to correct this and bring it back around. We're at negative two right now. So since we're at negative two, why don't we use this to bring it to at least negative one? Um, we can actually hit this. Mm. Ooh, maybe we hit this. Yes, I hit, think we hit that. That brings it all the way over to two. So now we need to correct it back. And I think we can... I wanted to use this to make it work, but we're going to need more of these nav units. So why don't we grab... I mean, we could do it with this too. But I just I don't want to spend the data. So perhaps we take a recharge here, and then... Why don't we build up a little a little collection of this over here so that we can use it next turn nice little crit a little extra okay last turn we got to come up with two more of these and four more of these and we have to correct the drift down uh, at least one so we're going to do that with this and I think we're going to hit that again. No. Instead of that, we're going to do this over here. Ooh. Actually, we're going to do... If we do this, I have to give two of them. I think we are going to hit this again. Yeah, we're going to hit that again. That brings it right in line. Now I just need two more... Ouch. Um... Actually, this works. That works. It's expensive, but it does the job as long as we can resist. I may or may not be able to do that. I can afford to lose a little bit, though. We have extras coming in, so I think we'll be all right. What is this? What was that? What was that? This like a screen? What? The payload's position, the payload's positional drift, has unexpectedly changed. 
This command will cost an additional one drift. I can't afford another drift unless... Uh, well, I mean, I kind of... Mm. No, I can't. I can't afford any drift. Oh, no. I didn't realize drift would be, at comp would be compromised on misses yet. I thought it was like heat where like you still... Oh, we're good. I saw this this window open. It's the first time I've ever seen that. Mission control, success! We finished first in a milestone, and we get a ton of money. So much money. Immediately so much money. See, the Soviet Union just sent their animal in space. See? Yeah. They're just now doing the animal in space. Just now. See? It's fine. So we've done all the milestones. Uh, the only thing we have left to do, milestone-wise, right now, I think, is the Venus stuff. We've done all that's available for Mercury. Yep. And we haven't done everything available for Mars, though. We still have to do the Mars orbit. Haven't done that yet. So maybe we could potentially work on that. Um... Voyager isn't that important, but I'm just thinking, like, the first of Saturn, man. We're getting quite a bit of science put into it, too. But I'm thinking we could probably get, yeah, like, three months, basically. And we could work on Mars orbit. Let's take a quick break from Voyager and work on Mars orbit. And now we're getting a funding review and this ought to be good, man. We landed on the moon. Come on. Yes. Boom. That's a lot. We almost got the next tier even. Subsurface penetrator. Maximum mission training bonus increased by 100%. Wow. Well, let's make sure the launch goes good. This is 65%, so... We need this to be good, and uh, we'll launch in May. There you go. We could launch in June for an even bigger bonus. Now it's 80%. I like that more. Let's go. All right. I need another mission. Control systems check. Let's go. We're going to go more power. We 71%. We can handle it. Let's go. And uh, when the Mars orbit one is done, then we'll look at that one. And then uh, we should have... Yeah, Mercury Mariner is going to be complete in one month. And then we can start looking at um, the Mars mission once we have that other one done. So this is Venus Impactor. And we could use really cheap parts. If it's not a really cheap part. None of this is really cheap. <laughs> I wish, man. <laughs> $90,000? Wait, no? Okay. <laughs> uh, we could try redstone. Uh, stuff is so expensive, man. This has... This just has flat better reliability, you know? It's a million bucks. It's expensive, but we got money. I think we'll take this, and then we can't use any upgrades, which is fine. And then I think we lower the cost or raise the science. Let's raise the science. Yeah, yeah. Raise the science. This is sublime. Go. More science. Mars orbit. And then once we... I think what I'll do is I'll grab Mars orbit and Venus orbit. With having all of these done, we get that. Our payload build time goes down just by having both of these. I don't think we should just keep going after these by leaving like one or two of these behind. We should we should get those bonuses if we can. So let's let's just take a second and do the Mars orbit Venus orbit thing. So Mercury is now complete. Mars orbit research is now complete. And uh, control systems. This is this is our. I think our vessel's name was Mercury. Yeah. So the booster time, build times reduced. Upper stage build time is increased. So what we need to do is make the cheapest possible upper stage, is what you're saying. Redstone. Sounds good. Booster. OK, 
could do the redstone booster too. Not opposed to it. It's pretty cheap. We want to add a little bit more reliability. We could add some boosters to it, but I'm alright with it the way it is, actually. We can even pop one of these on there. Help the payload a bit. That's alright. Yeah, I'm good with that. And then uh, why don't we increase the science output? That's nice. And uh, we'll go ahead and confirm this. This is just a control systems check. So we'll pop that. And then uh, no research. Let's go ahead and grab uh, Venus Orbit really quick. Ooh, this is not going to be that quick, actually. We're only getting one... We're not getting very much science every month anymore. It's not going to be as quick as... Let's just keep hammering away at Voyager for now. But we need to complete the milestone missions to get a lot more science. Venus Impactor will be worth a lot. Control Systems Check gives us quite a bit, too. Yeah, we need to complete these milestone missions, so... Um, we're going to launch the Penetrator next month, and then we'll work on the, the Mars Orbit. Because that will give us some stuff, too. Alright. We have great reliability on this launch. Ideal conditions. 4% uh, failure rate. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. I don't know how many videos I'm putting out, but... Um, I imagine by now, the game is released. So, I guess I gotta ask, how you guys enjoying it so far? Did you buy it? Did you buy it from my game store? All the links in the description. Oh, oh my god. Oh, <gasps> what? Oh my god, we finally had an explosion. 4%. Oh no. Oh. I told you, go cheap, and this is what happens. Tell me I overspent on my rockets. Oh, no. Four percent, three percent. Damn. Yeah. We're losing 200 support for that one, aren't we? On the plus side, <laughs> we can now do the Mars Orbit mission. Oh, wow. I had, that was that sucks. Uh, for Mars Orbit, um, yeah, we'll be all right with this. Let's build that payload. Oh, my gosh. That sucks. That's the first time I've... That, that's the lowest odds I've ever failed with. Um, I know last time when we played the beta, it was uh, like 5% uh, and 5% back to back or something, which is an astronomically low chance of happening, uh, pun intended. But um, like, that's the first time I've seen a 4% fail, so. All right, hold on. Japan instrument request. Japan have requested that a scientific instrument manufactured by their agency be added to your Mariner 8 payload, which is being constructed for your Mars orbit mission. They've offered a million dollars towards mission costs in exchange. Your engineers believe they can install the instrument without any detrimental uh, detriment to the mission's objective, though they have noted that the Japan will gain science. Japan? Japan, man. I'm going to allow this because we are so close to a positive relationship with Japan. And if I accept this, I have a feeling they're going to be sharing science with me for months, months to come. So we gain 20 reputation with Japan. We gain a million dollars. And I think if I look at our relationship now, I think they're friendly. Like, just like the ESA is. We'll see. Maximum mission training bonus is now increased by 100% on this one, too. And our control systems. Uh, optimal and suboptimal windows are reversed. Okay. So both of our things are ready to go here. All right. So Venus Impactor. Let's do... I think I'm going to rock science here. Mission training bonus is increased by 100%. And we got to go a long way. So we're going all the way to April here. That's going to really bump up the science, man. I'm good with it. We don't need... We're not in a hurry to do this mission. So let's go. And then control, control systems check. This requires crew... So, 
What's the state of this launch right now? 74%. Test pilot. Test pilot. I'm going to raise that up. And then... Uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to focus on that that launch reliability there. I don't we got to make that go up a little higher. This is fine. It'll be 85%. And if this is a really rainy day, we'll go to December. Go for it. Yeah, all right. Lunar radiation. Hmm. Take a look at Mars readiness. This screen is still a little bit concerning to me, or a little bit confusing to me. It just, there's just dials and slides all over the place. I mean, if you really take the time, it doesn't make, it, it's 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 fine. Like you can tell ESA and Japan are both not in era three. So it's locked for them. Um, these guys, you can see 2%, 3%, all that stuff. I guess, what it looks like is, once it gets to this white line, we can technically launch it. But, you know, we want to get it as best as possible. We just want to make sure that we do it ahead of these guys. We don't know when they're going to launch, so. So, I, I think that's what it is. Okay, Japan is now considered uh, a friend, right? Japan are friendly with us? Yes. 5% joint mission contribution and plus two science income. They're just sharing their science income with us now. See? That's great. We may also start getting even better with the ESA soon. And as long as we keep Russia antagonistic, we're going to keep getting funds in exchange. And we're kind of, um, we're kind of indifferent to China. You know? ESA actually just entered era three. So vehicle parts gain two experience levels after launch, more launch reliability stuff. Now I'm paranoid, man. Control systems check. I'm paranoid, man. Like this is, uh, I mean, I mean, <laughs> come on, man. Come on. I mean, three, two, one. It's got to be successful. It's got to be. I shouldn't even have to watch this. One percent. Get up there. What if it blew up? Like how how much rage quit can you have? That would be a rage quit moment, I think. I think I would GG out of this. Thanks for the thanks for watching, guys. That's the series. Hope you had a great time. Enjoy playing the game. I'm out of this. <laughs> Alright, control systems check. Let's go. So we have one crew member, of course. And uh we want the bonus objective if we can. So I think uh, I'm gonna spend the power to get this. And then I'm gonna pop that. And that again, actually. Yeah, for the first stage. Very good. Okay. So the second one is going to be to help catch us up a little bit. We're going to spend a little bit of that to get that. And then... I was actually hoping to spend for this one. But now I'm thinking we go like that and then like that. That catches this one up a little bit. We spend the money, spend the power. There we go. Okay. Then we're going to spend, I think again, that bops that up to the top. Probably want to try and recharge, but I don't want to do that unless I can almost Let's do power there and then a recharge. We just need one of each now. We can do it here. We'll spend the crew to get these two, then these two to get both of those, and then power to charge it. That's how we'll do this. All right, cool. 
We don't even really need like three, two of them anymore. Um, we can. Uh, no, nah, I think we stick to the plan. It's fine. This one and then this one. Yeah, and then charge. Good. So now comes the part of the game where it might take a little bit, right? Because you want to you want to assemble the station because it's going to constantly give you science towards everything else, right? And so, like, you should be, I think, in my opinion, you should go for the station first before Voyager. You probably should. But I just really, really want what I, the heart wants what the heart wants. But I think you should go for that first. Because if you rush the station, if you go, where is it? Oh, via missions. If you go for the station and you end up getting it, you know, do the Skylab, and then you do this, you're getting lots of science, of course. But if you can manage to get yourself to station module or one, module two, all that stuff, then you start getting some major rewards for that, right? You start getting science all the time 50 support and 150 extra science every month in addition it's going to cost 10,000 per month to maintain then you get the second stage of that cost the same and then you do space telescope which is crazy cool and the grand tour which is going to be nutty i think we're going to hit the grand tour because i'm already going voyager and uh, i'm already looking at that so i think we're going to be first to the grand tour because most people will be going after Space Station, and us too. We need to go after that too. Mars Orbit is ready to, to build. With lots and lots of money. Uh, yeah, Aegina, and then how about... We just use Atlas. I don't know if I trust that redstone. I think I like Delta for this. It's just more money. Is it really that much more, though? Not really. You know? In the grand scheme of things... Maybe I should have gotten other... Ooh, Atlas 3. That's way, way too much. We don't need that. I think I'll just use the Atlas. And then, yeah, we'll just use the Atlas and then this. Um, we can use the Shock of Shock Absorber. If we pay that extra 100k, like, this is already a really high reliability. I think not. I don't care. Contractor-wise, if we can maybe get some more science out of this, I'm okay with waiting a little bit longer. Just get a little extra science here. This is called Tenacious. hoo 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 Tenacious. Mars Orbit. Go. And now we have another mission slot. Can I get a mission to Saturn? No, because I don't have I don't have my Voyager yet. No more re no requests at Mars. We have a request at the moon though. Ooh. Moon micrometeorites. Yeah, okay. How much does this cost? Oh, this is cheap. This is real cheap. Let's just do this. Boom. Two months to build that. Let's go. We're getting real close to Voyager now, man. I can taste it. I can taste Saturn. I gotta tell you, it's a little salty. <laughs> I have no idea. Look at this. Launch reliability from Abel. Hello. You're a real straight shooter there, Abel. See, with the payload's getting hit, but we're gonna train that. We're gonna we're gonna train that. We're gonna go payload. Oh, we don't have a payload one. Damn. Alright, let's increase the science output here. And we'll just train payload reliability on this. Go. Five months, piece of cake. Let's get our uh Oh, gonna do it. Oh, so close. So close. That's all right. What's, I, I think, yeah, after Voyager, I, I want to get buildings, though. Because buildings, they do things for you, right? Like, more support on missions, more science all the time. 
costs on your mission tree goes down, and we're going to want this. I think we do. And, hmm. I don't want people beating me to the station. That's the thing. Like, what's the what's the progress on that? I guess nobody has it. I wish I could tell what they were working on, you know? I know that would kind of break the balance of the game, but I kind of wish I could tell what the... Like, what's the AI working on right now, you know? That'd be very nice. All right. Voyager research is now done. And that means we can send a mission to Saturn if we want to. Maybe the Mars lander. Maybe the Mars lander. Instead of the space station? Oh, come on now. You know we want... Oh, the space station is just so much better, though. I'm telling you, though, if we get the buildings, just this one is 2,000 and this one is 5,000. 20% cost reduction in mission, mission tree, which is this tree. 20% less on this means we have 20% more for everything else. I think we're good on vehicles for a while, aside from the space shuttle. I actually don't know that, though. Hang on. Oh, ho, ho, I see it. Little exclamation point up of Saturn. So the flyby. Um, yeah, we're... We're good here. We can use these parts. Yep. We could also use these, but I, I think we're going to use those. So we're good here. So I could plan this. It's worth a lot of support. Worth a lot of science. And it's, of course, you know going to Saturn, so it's clearly the best option for us. Alright. Um, I guess I just go next, right? Let's get a little progress in on the space station. Because we're going to want to do that. I don't know I don't know if the AI is going for the station first, the Mars, or the Mars lander first. I feel like the Mars lander should be first, right? Because it's the least complicated to get to. 50% launch reliability penalty reduction. Okay. Suboptimal launch windows. Here's our Venus impactor. Got to send this up. These uh, milestone missions that were way late on. 4% chance of critical failure. Crossing the fingers. Let's go. 4%. is now a very evil number, actually. Before it was good. And this time it's not... 4% is no longer okay. Oh. Don't you do it. Okay, good. <sighs> okay. I thought there was a problem. There was, actually. Wow. 10% reduction in payload reliability. That sucks. That sucks. That really, really sucks. Okay. Um, so we're looking at 61% now on this. Crap. Six, six, and eight. How about... How about we just spend all the power we have? <laughs> That's pretty much what it's asking me to do. This. Um, you and you is our first action. Barely. Nope. Got that one at least. Okay. So we've already got two objectives. Three turns left. We're going to have to hit this at least twice on the final turn. We could do that. Just hit it twice on the final turn. So... In order to do that, though, we're going to need to make sure we have four over the mark, which means we need ten of those. That's a lot to ask for, actually. That's a whole lot of problem. Let's try this. I don't have to spend power to try this. Well, I need to do this anyway. We're good there. Okay. I can't resist this. What's the problem? It's going to cost me an additional nav. Damn. Alright. So we can hit this. Bring that up. And then also bring it up here. 
That gets me over the mark on this and over the mark on that. All I need now is the is the uh, controlled burn. But I also need two more additional of these. So why don't I... There's no, there's no, well, I can recharge. I should recharge. Yeah, and then so the next run, we're going to have to hit this twice, which means I have to use... Well, let's just see if we fail anything. Because it may not be possible to get the whole objective. That's huge. That extra pay that extra data is huge. All right. Because we got the extra data, we can now hit this. and then hit this twice. And we have some breathing room there, but I would I have at least one charge to counter it. And it may be this one that I have to do. Let's check it. So command output is being reduced by one. That's okay, we can live with that. Excellent. Bonus data doesn't matter, and we can resist this one anyway. So we get the bonus objective. Pretty nice. So that's the first phase. There'll be another one later in a couple of months. And we'll correct that in a couple of months. Soviet Union finally completed their crude moon landing. Good for you. <laughs> oh, it's about time. Mars orbit. Here we go. I can't do payload training. Oh, yes, I can. It just looked, I don't know, for some reason it looked like it was grayed out for a bit. Um, we're currently at decent payload training. We have pretty good, I think we go science focus here, honestly. I'm all right with these numbers already. Ooh, this sucks. February it is. Takes a while, but at least we'll get maximum science for it. Okay, so the next rocket's complete now. And it's moon micrometeorites. And the mission bonus is increased by 100%. But we're losing payload reliability, so the mission focus would probably be that payload. Because it's starting at 46%. Vehicle mission training bonus increased by 100%. But only for the one thing. Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. I want, I want this one. Interesting. Vehicle mission training bonus. Oh right, because the launch is the vehicle, and then the payload is the payload. I got it. Yeah, you know, we're gonna we're definitely gonna do payload focus. We have to, and then we'll get the maximum value by going here. That's the best I can do. Sixty-one percent is the best I can hope for here. So, off we go. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit for these launches, guys. I'm really thinking the space station, the space station science thing. I don't I don't know about this. I feel like. I feel like I should be going Venus orbit here. Or not even that. Honestly, for the buildings the way they are, if I hit this and I get this and then I get that, it just speeds up all mission research, right? I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to do that instead. I know now I am kind of flighty here, but I'm going to kind of do that instead. I think so. And then the next phase of the Venus impactor is now. The next phase of the mission is ready. So let's go do that. And then once this is done, we're going to freaking Saturn, man. Because I don't have the mission. I don't have the slot right now. So it's the only reason I haven't done Saturn yet. Because that's going to pay us a lot of science too. All right, let's get the scientific data here and we'll call it a day. So uh, five power is the start. We have four turns. We need to keep the power under five and we're starting at two. Okay, I'm good with this as the first turn for the time being. That's awesome. That is also awesome. Very good turn. Very good turn. We can afford to use some of our uh, nav modules now. So let's use them. We'll get uh, a couple of data pips here. And then I think... We're gonna use this data pip and heat and get a little bit of this. 
Because it's only giving us two heat every turn, right? Plus two. So it's, it's actually pretty easy to control here. Power, though. The power, though. All right, now we're at five. All we need is... Like, we don't need much here. Um, I think we... Use power for that. Um, no. Hit this. And then use power for this. That brings it down to four. We're only one data module away now. Let's use the last action for a recharge. Which we'll probably have to spend on this. Additional... Yeah, uh, yeah, we're fine. Let's use it on that. Damn. All right, I'm gonna be out of power here. If I don't, if I don't do that, if, are we okay still? No, we'll have to get that. I'm gonna resist. Okay. So, now heat doesn't matter. And all we have to do is get one data module. So we're gonna recharge, drop the heat and get, we'll just recharge and get this, and then recharge again. That guarantees it. Five, eight, and then we'll be good. We'll be able to, we'll be able to resist this too. Excellent. And resist. So that's gonna give us the science necessary to go get our new research facility expansion. Lots of science there. Research facility expansion is going to get hit, uh, going to get completed this turn. So we'll we'll do that. But before we do that, you know it. I've been waiting for it, man. I keep saying it over and over again. Yeah, we get it. You're going to Saturn. Well, it's ex it's, it's exciting. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh, a million bucks. Do we get the improved nav modules? Oh, what kind of, um, so entering Saturn transfer orbit is 11 navigation modules. And then the next one is nine of these. I think we give improved nav here and then we can do payload training. But the thing is, if I don't do that, if I just pay extra for the power instead, I think I'd rather just pay extra for the power. It's 200,000, we get nine power to start. That's huge. I'm going to do that instead. And then we can do a... Si I want to do a science focus on this mission. I don't want to do a payload focus. Go. We are starting to go to Saturn. I couldn't be couldn't be more thrilled. Just to double check. Nobody's got the, the, the stuff for this yet. All right? Nobody. And uh, yeah, we have the Mars orbit. We have seven months to launch on that. Moon Micrometeorites, three more months to launch on that. We're getting our number one, our plus one lab expansion done right now. We can then focus in on the robotics research building, which lowers the cost on missing research tree. We can just, just we're going to keep going down, you know, the, the station science and Jupiter and all that stuff. And we can't do, we're going to get a, a discount on all that if we have this building installed. I think it's worth it. I really do. Um, and then maybe we even go down this. Um, but we're, we don't necessarily need to build them yet, right? Because if we can do... Where is it? It's uh, it's this. If we can finish one more milestone mission, we get negative 50% buildings research cost for six months. Ah! The research cost, not the station. Hmm. The only other thing I can possibly do there then is this. Maybe we do rush the station. That's a lot of science, too. An EVA repair exercise. Huh. Horizontal integration. That's kind of cool. This is worth a lot. Maybe we'll do that. We'll probably do that next. But as far as, like, research goes, 
Man, maybe, maybe we just have to, you know? Maybe the station is the only way to go. I mean, what's the, how do we get that? Is it, do we have to actually have the whole, it's just this, right? Orbital station will give our agency permanent base in low earth orbit, providing valuable data on the long-term effects of living in space on humans and allowing us to perform new forms of scientific research. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm sold. We'll just do this then. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, by the way, there's no water on Venus. Uh, measurements taken by our recent entry probe have uh, revealed that despite Venus's dense clouds, the planet lost its water long ago. Clouds are instead composed of mostly sulfuric, sulfuric acid droplets. Eh, if you didn't know that, well, now you do. There you go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.